with Neptune raising concerns among examiners and space enthusiasts, notable scientists including Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have sounded alarms about the potential consequences of a collision between Pluto and Neptune. But how did Pluto end up on a possible crash course with its distant neighbor, and what might this cosmic event mean for us here on Earth? Pluto, once classified as the ninth planet in our solar system, was demoted to dwarf planet status due to its peculiar orbit. Despite this change, Pluto continues to captivate astronomers and the public alike. Experts have focused on the region where Pluto's orbit intersects with Neptune's, warning of the possibility of a collision between the two celestial bodies, which could pose a significant risk to Earth. Pluto's orbit around the Sun is distinctive primarily because it deviates significantly from the almost circular orbits of the other planets. Its elliptical orbit stretches far from the Sun, and it remains incomplete even after decades of observation, having only partially completed a full orbit since its discovery in 1930. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For 20 years of each orbit, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, which defies expectations. However, despite the seeming danger, no collision has occurred. This is due to the gravitational influences of other planets and the unique dynamics of the Pluto-Neptune system. Pluto's orbit is tilted at a 17 degrees angle to the ecliptic plane, and its path is further complicated by its oblong shape. Yet, the gravitational interactions between Pluto, Neptune, and other giant planets in the solar system prevent any catastrophic events. The three-body problem in space mechanics explains the complex interactions and gravitational forces between Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, making precise predictions about their future trajectories challenging. Astrophysicists believe that Pluto and Neptune's resonance, their orbits being linked in such a way that Neptune completes three orbits for every two of Pluto, helps prevent a collision. Additionally, other massive planets like Jupiter and Saturn play roles in stabilizing Pluto's orbit, contributing to the long-term stability of the system. These gravitational interactions ensure Pluto's path around the Sun remains stable over billions of years, despite its seemingly chaotic orbit. This intricate system of forces is crucial to the broader understanding of planetary motion and celestial mechanics. Even though Pluto's orbit appears erratic, the cumulative effects of these gravitational forces keep the dwarf planet in check. This stability is essential for maintaining the balance and order of our solar system. The study of such phenomena helps astronomers understand the intricate dynamics of planetary systems and the potential risks they pose not only to other celestial bodies but to Earth as well. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist, has expressed concern about the potential for a collision between Pluto and Neptune, which he sees as an opportunity to further our understanding of celestial mechanics. Tyson's viewpoint is grounded in the evolving nature of our knowledge of space. He views the renaming of Pluto from planet to dwarf planet not as a demotion but as an acknowledgement of the complexities of celestial bodies and the growing depth of our understanding of the universe. Tyson, along with others, warns that even the seemingly stable orbits of distant planets are subject to change due to these complex interactions. If a collision were to occur, it would have significant consequences, potentially releasing immense amounts of energy and altering the orbits of other bodies in the solar system. For Neptune, such an event could impact its atmosphere and orbital path, while Pluto, being much smaller, could be severely damaged, with debris scattering across the solar system. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist known for his work in string theory, offers a different perspective. He sees the study of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with Neptune as a window into the broader future of space exploration. Kaku believes that understanding the gravitational interactions of planets can provide valuable insights for future space missions, especially when it comes to exploring the outer regions of our solar system. Moreover, the study of Pluto's orbit could even inform our understanding of string theory, offering clues about fundamental forces and the nature of the universe. Both Tyson and Kaku emphasize that even though the chances of a collision between Pluto and Neptune are low, the study of these complex systems is vital for our understanding of the universe. It allows scientists to explore the fundamental principles of space, from gravity to the dynamics of celestial bodies. The potential collision, while remote, could serve as a reminder of the unpredictability and vastness of the cosmos. In addition to the potential for Pluto and Neptune to collide, there are other, more speculative events that could lead to planetary catastrophes. Rogue planets, for instance, which are ejected from their original solar systems, may wander through space and potentially impact other planetary systems. However, the likelihood of such an event is incredibly low due to the vastness of space. Even so, understanding these dynamics is crucial for the advancement of astronomical research and the development of future space missions. 
In conclusion, while the prospect of a collision between Pluto and Neptune is currently seen as improbable, it serves as a reminder of the intricate and dynamic nature of our universe. The ongoing study of planetary orbits, gravitational interactions, and celestial mechanics will continue to expand our understanding of the cosmos, offering new insights into the fundamental laws of physics and the broader structure of space itself. One of the most intriguing aspects of the relationship between Pluto and Neptune is how their orbits, while crossing, never result in a direct collision. This paradox is due to a delicate gravitational dance between the two bodies, which has been understood through complex mathematical models and simulations. Pluto's orbit, as mentioned earlier, is not only elliptical but also highly inclined and eccentric compared to the circular orbits of the other planets. Its orbit takes it from as close as 29 astronomical units, AU, to as far as 49 Australian dollars. When Pluto's orbit intersects Neptune's, the two bodies appear as if they could collide, but due to gravitational resonance, this is avoided. Pluto and Neptune are in what is called a 3-2 orbital resonance, meaning that for every three orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes two. This resonant relationship ensures that while their orbits cross, the positions of Pluto and Neptune never align in such a way that a collision occurs. This resonance, caused by their gravitational interaction, effectively locks Pluto's orbit in a stable pattern, preventing it from getting too close to Neptune. The concept of orbital resonance is not unique to Pluto and Neptune. Many bodies in the solar system exhibit such resonances. For instance, Jupiter's moons Io, Europa, and Ganymede are locked in a 4,2,1 resonance, meaning that for every four orbits of Io, Europa completes two, and Ganymede completes one. These resonances serve as a protective mechanism, ensuring that gravitational forces don't lead to chaotic orbits or potential collisions. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, the 3 2 resonance also has an interesting effect on their orbital paths. It ensures that while Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's, the two bodies never come too close to one another. This resonance also explains why Pluto's orbit is so irregular compared to the other planets in the solar system. The unique characteristics of Pluto's orbit, its high inclination, its elliptical shape, and its crossing path with Neptune, make it one of the most fascinating objects in the solar system. It's a reminder of how complex the interactions between celestial bodies can be, and how even what seems like a chaotic orbit can be stable over long periods. These orbital mechanics raise important questions about the dynamics of planetary systems. How do planets and other bodies maintain stable orbits over billions of years, despite the gravitational pull of other nearby objects? The answer lies in the interplay of gravitational forces and the delicate balance of orbital resonances. Understanding these interactions is crucial not only for studying our solar system but for understanding the formation and evolution of other planetary systems throughout the galaxy. The reclassification of Pluto is a story of changing perspectives. Pluto's reclassification from planet to dwarf planet in 2006 remains one of the most significant events in the field of astronomy. For over 75 years after its discovery, Pluto was considered the ninth planet in our solar system. It was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona, and for many years it was viewed as a distant, mysterious object located far beyond Neptune. Pluto's reclassification, however, was the result of an increasing understanding of the objects in the outer reaches of the solar system. Astronomers began to realize that Pluto was not alone in its size and characteristics. In the late 20th century, the discovery of the Kuiper Belt, a vast region beyond Neptune filled with icy bodies, opened up a new frontier in planetary science. It became clear that Pluto was just one of many similar objects in this distant region, leading to the question of whether it should be considered a planet at all. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union, IAU, officially redefined the term planet and excluded Pluto from this category. According to the new definition, for an object to be considered a planet, it must meet three criteria, it must orbit the Sun, it must be massive enough for its gravity to cause it to form a nearly spherical shape, and it must have cleared its orbit of other debris. Pluto failed the third criterion because its orbit overlaps with that of other Kuiper Belt objects. The decision to demote Pluto sparked a significant debate within the astronomical community and the public. For many, Pluto had been a planet for so long that its reclassification felt like the loss of a beloved celestial body. Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of the leading voices in the debate, argued that the reclassification was necessary for scientific progress. Tyson, who has long advocated for a more accurate understanding of the solar system, emphasized that Pluto's status as a planet was a relic of outdated thinking. In his view, the reclassification was not an insult to Pluto but an acknowledgement of the evolving nature of planetary science. 